today was day 32 of another cycle and I woke up and my temperature was still elevated and according to my Ava bracelet so was my heart rate and it usually drops the day I'm gonna get my period and I went and I took a test because I thought okay I'm just gonna get this over with another negative test so that I don't sit here and wonder all day just in case and I glanced at it and it's like nope it's another negative and then I looked and there's a line I am pregnant it's faint and I know a lot of people go out and they take like a bunch of tests if it's a line that you're pregnant so that was yesterday obviously I didn't film it because I thought I'm not gonna record myself again with a negative and um, it's been quite a roller coaster of emotions since yesterday um, I don't, first off I just don't want to get excited I am so afraid that it's gonna end like tomorrow I'm telling Clark today and I'm like it's gonna be a chemical pregnancy or we're gonna miscarry super early um, so I've been trying not to get my hopes up I've been trying not to daydream um, I did notice yesterday I had a pep in my step and I was in a really good mood so I think like subconsciously I want to be happy and excited um, I cried a lot yesterday over Davin which I haven't cried that much in a while um, and then I'm excited like I'm happy and oh my god like this is it's like finally this is what we wanted um, so I'm ha I'm happy but I'm just like extremely guarded I'm just afraid that something's gonna happen and then I've just been reminding myself that um, how I got through our terminal pregnancy with Davin, which if you don't know my story, go back and watch that video or I'll link it here. Um, I really just practiced um, celebrating the baby that was in my belly one day at a time. I think it's kind of cliche when you're going through something that they say one day at a time, and but really like that's what I had to do with Davin. One day at a time. So I've been telling myself with this one, with this pregnancy for the last 24 hours since I've known is one day at a time um, for right now I'm pregnant so I was thinking like oh, I wish that like I could wait a few weeks before telling Clark because I don't want to get him excited but he knows that like my periods do and if I would miscarry I would want him to know so I thought about waiting till later this week and I thought I'm just gonna tell him today and fortunately I've had plenty of time to think about this and how I want to do it and so I'm pretty prepared I also woke up this morning and like these are just the cheapo tests so it's like okay let's see if the line gets any darker and on the same cheap test it did not get any darker this morning um, but this afternoon it's like you know one o'clock right now um, I use the first response which is supposed to be like the most sensitive and there's a pretty dark line so that was just reassuring when I got home because again, like you just worry that you're gonna lose it any minute. So getting home in the afternoon and like afternoon pee is not supposed to be as potent as morning pee and seeing that it came up so dark. So that was definitely reassuring. So that may feel a lot better. So I'm telling Clark tonight, um, I'm like thinking about how it's gonna go. I'm thinking I'm gonna be super excited. I think that I'm gonna cry. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you the stuff that I got. So this is what we call the baby's room. It's mostly stuff that we bought for him that never got used, like the pack and play. Um, we just recently actually set the crib up so that I can put all of our my nonprofit, um, our baby's legacies, heavenly hug memorial animals in there. So this is like mostly that. Um, so a couple of things. Number one, it says happy anniversary 
if you haven't watched the video where I told Clark that I was pregnant with our first baby, Davin, um, I spelled out with the same banner, we're pregnant, and I put it on the bed. We did this in our bedroom, and um, I told him that I had a surprise for him. I did this like big, elaborate, like scavenger hunt, romantic, super cool thing. Go back and watch the video, it was really cool. And he came in and he didn't get it that we were pregnant at first, even though I had the pregnancy test and stuff on the bed. And it said we're pregnant, he didn't read it. He just glanced at it and assumed it said happy anniversary. So I know that this might seem dorky, but I, I just want to tease him. I think he'll think it's funny. So it says happy anniversary, but it really should say we're pregnant, but he misread it last time, so. Also, Pierre has the balloons. I got just a couple of rainbow balloons. I wanted to do an homage to how I surprised Clark with Davin, so I'm not gonna go through any um, of the games or anything in the beginning, but I'm just gonna ask him to come in this room. I thought about should I do it in the bedroom and decorate it just like how I did before, but with rainbow balloons, and I thought, honestly, like where my heart is right now, I just, I'm so nervous about this pregnancy, so I wanna be a little bit more low key, and also I thought it would be nice and special to do it in this room versus our bedroom where I originally did it. And, um, but I still want it to be kind of like, like I said, like a, an homage to Davin. So I have the balloons and I did do the rainbow balloons. Again, I'm kind of hesitant. I don't know if this is going to be my rainbow or not. Rainbow baby, for those of you that don't know, a rainbow baby is a baby that comes after a loss. So Davin is my angel baby. And this hopefully God willing is the rainbow baby. So also, um, so I'm gonna put on the crib, I'm gonna bring Davin's bunny. So like our heavenly hugs, weighted animals are these weighted stuffed animals to help grieving parents. And I have one that's a bunny and it has Davin's heartbeat and his ashes inside it. So I'm gonna sit it there holding the pregnancy test and then sprinkle the balloons above it. And then I ordered this ages ago when we first started trying again. And it's this precious little onesie. It says handpicked for earth by my brother in heaven. So if this doesn't make Clark cry, I don't know what will. crouching down by the window waiting for him. I'm upstairs. I'm in the baby's room. Sorry. What? What are you doing? Recording your reaction. <laughs> What's the sign say? Happy anniversary. <laughs> Remember last time that's what you thought it said. It says happy anniversary. I know, but last time it said we're pregnant. I'm teasing you. I know. Oh, you're doing it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Look. No. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> I know. <laughs> when did you know? Yesterday. You're freaking weird. <laughs> I'm saying, I didn't lie, at least. I'm saying that at the gym just now, praying that you are. Oh my word, you're kidding me. That was good, my word. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I feel 
like I don't like get excited yeah like I mm-hmm. I was like literally like well I might miscarry tomorrow like I don't want to tell Clark mm-hmm. well, way too many horror stories and we also know good stories yeah so let's just pray oh we're pregnant we're down in vitro and all that other crap mm-hmm. that's a blessing with God's will it'll be fine mm-hmm. You, you like messing with my head. I'm like, I'm well, not the husband who forgets the anniversary. It's not March. I'm like, it's not clicking. And then I was. I saw the balloons, and I'm seeing him, and I didn't see that. Now I get it. Yeah. Where's <laughs> by my brother? Mm. And I got rainbow balloons because it's supposed to be a rainbow. Thingy. 